Hi there YouTubers, welcome back to my channel, Workshop Fun. I just thought I'd like to show one last video on what I've done to my model steamboat. I did just recently upload a video of all the big restoration to this boat. But um, once I got it out on the water I decided that there was a couple more things I wanted to do to it. So, number one... I pulled the whole entire stainless steel insert out and I cut this square out and shaped it all nicely and then spent quite a bit of time putting it all back in and turned around and cut this nice grill out which is very lightweight and that's just got a bolt there holding it to the keel now of the boat. Now what this does is it just lightens up the rear of the boat now because I just wanted to get rid of a little bit of weight at the rear because you do have the big boiler feed tank and even though it is quite light I still just wanted to reduce the weight where I could so I took that out and put that lightweight grill in and I turned around and machined the boiler feed pump this little edge here which is quite a thick edge, used to come out to about here. So now I've machined it all the way down to here. And that took a lot of weight out of the pump. And I just skimmed this by about a mil as well. And I slotted this. Um, now how I did that is I had to unsolder this flat from the pump and then machine this and then put this in the mill and machine this slot and then solder it back together. Now I just used a solder called Bridget Solder to solder that back together and it's done a really good job and I'm very pleased with it. The square though, that was quite a lot more work. As I said, I had to take this whole stainless steel insert out, which also meant taking the boiler out of course. So I did all of that and spent a long time cutting that out because it's 2 mil stainless. So I spent a long time cutting that out and shaping it all and making sure that it was nice and then after doing that I sanded all the edges and made it look nice and polished again and you know put it all back in and to get this out I also broke the original wooden trims that I made so I remade these, re-varnished them and they've come out looking really good. So I took this up to Auckland the other day, which is about two hours away from me, and had it out on the water, and boy, it went good. It's looking really, really good in the water now. I'm very, very pleased with it. The other thing that I did, though, which I noticed was not the best when I was up in Auckland, was I turned around and overhauled both the rudders, the little plastic fittings that come standard with radio control gear just weren't cutting it so I made these brass fittings and they actually screw straight onto the rudder shaft and they're much stronger now. I made them in the lathe and they actually screw onto the shaft and then there's a little pin that goes through them and also locks them in place and this flat bit of brass I soldered on to the round threaded bit that I made in the lathe. So after that I just shaped it nicely, drilled this hole and cleaned them up. And to get a tiny bit more leverage I hooked this onto the plastic servo arm, this brass bit of plate, or yeah it is plate, plate brass. Um, it's only about one mil thick though, and the same with up here, exactly the same thing. Brass lever here, and a little brass lever here. Now, what I've done with the rudders, I still have to pretty them up with bog sometime, but there is a brass pin that goes all the way through these. You know, about to there, and they 
are soldered on to the brass bar that comes down. So that's how that's done. It slightly charred the wood when I put this on, but it won't really matter at the end of the day because I will bog over all of that along this edge here and make it all nice again soon. So that's about it. Now the boat's motor is definitely finished and everything is going really good. Well thank you very much for watching and if you like this video please hit the like and if you wish to please subscribe. Bye.